It's, we'd love to have another chance to do it again from the atrium. We think yeah. that'd be good fun. Yeah. We're talking about maybe doing it as a double bill. It's only 15 Gosh, minutes, maybe doing it. two 15 minute plays. Yeah. And again, broadcast it live, of course, because we always like to do that. Yeah. Well, that was, thank you very much, Richard. Hope to hear more of your radio drama. Uh, back to Robin. Hi. <laughs> Back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Thank you, Alice. <laughs> now, uh, this year, the University of Glamorgan celebrated its 100-year anniversary. Best of luck to Amy. Now, we're still here with Richard Hand, and Robin is also a radio student, so... A uh, radio star. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I went to the event with uh, Richard on the weekend, the zombie symposium, and it was a great learning experience. Uh, well, it certainly was for me. Uh, I was one of the voice actors in Lover's Lane, and um, I really, I really enjoyed the, the sound effects because, uh, obviously, as you said. Right. So it's simple. I'm going to ask you some general knowledge questions, and the first person to get them right. Uh, you have to. You've ten seconds to get as many of those pegs as you can onto the, the washing line. Okay. The winner at the end of the round is the person with the most close pegs on the line. So Alice, you've got the white pegs and you've got the blue pegs, Robin. Okay. okay. So we're going to start alphabetically, and I'm going to ask you the first question. Are you ready? I'm ready. I was born Are you ready. Sure. Okay. Good luck, Alice. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Um, it's the Millennium no, Centre. No, I just realised that. I was, I was just thinking. I know another building in Scotland that's referred to as like the Armadillo, and I was like, I said Cardiff. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. You okay. threw me. You threw me. I, I, this is pretty easy. This one. Okay. Well, I have got a lot of very easy questions wrong, haven't I? Yeah. So. Um, what is the national flower of Wales? Daffodil. Brilliant. There I we go. did have to think about that. That was a really it? easy question. I'm sorry, Robin. It's just the way it works. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Four, oh, five, no. got my eye six, now. seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, you've lost many. I lost Done. one. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Sam. Here's a look at what's coming up on today's show. The talented Ellie James, local singer songwriter, is with us live in the studio. We have Exposure TV's Emily Ann Wright exploring Penarth Pier. And we hear from a member of the Ten of Us Choir, Sing With Joined in studio by Ellie James, a local musician. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ellie. Hi, it's nice to see you. And you. Um, so what age did you start getting into music? Um, I've been into music all my life, really. Um, my dad always played guitar when I was younger, so I started learning guitar when I was about 11 and writing songs when I was about 12, 13. Brilliant. Uh, what kind of music do you play, for, just to let the people at home know? It's kind of folky, acoustic, singer-songwriter stuff. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so what would you say inspires you, then? But now it's time to join Sam again in the cloud. Yes, thanks Laura. And it was great to hear from Ca Callum Charlesworth about the creator of our theme song. We would love to hear from other past alumni. Let us know what your experience was after leaving uni. Have you any advice for this year's graduates? Also today is trending is Daft Punk as they have a new single out. So you can tweet us in and let us know what your opinion on this is. And you can tweet us in and let us know what you were up to on the weekend. But now for some more local news and a look at current events taking place in the university in the spotlight today. We've had a big announcement from our presenters Lloyd and Alex today as they have planned to shave their heads if we raise over £200 for ten of us. Hello Lloyd. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah we've decided to shave our heads if, if we raise enough money. Why do you think you should do it? Well, but, well, I decided to do it. I went to um, interview a PhD student back last week um, who d works with the Ten of Us charity. And I thought, well, I knew we were raising money or doing our best to raise money. I was like, we're not raising enough. So I decided, well, something drastic needs to be done. Sorry about that. That was, in fact, our competition that you just saw. But remember to get those answers in and the winner will be announced on Friday's show. Now it's time for the presenter challenge. Are you guys nervous? You look slightly nervous. I would say more apprehensive. <laughs> um, I really don't know what this one's going to be, so... No, there's nothing on the table, so... What's going on? <laughs> well, today we're going to play Guess the Lyric. I'm going to read you a line from a well-known song with one crucial missing word. If you guess the answer correctly, then you get a lovely point <laughs> on your board up by there. You are... The dancing blank. Yeah. Queen. 
Good. Queen, because I am the queen of this competition. No, 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 give it I time. I will have a crown, I will be victorious, No. Nope. and you'll be the so loser. Good. <laughs> okay, Laura. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Billie Jean is not my love, she's just a girl who said that I am the blank. One, I am the one, because I'm yes. the winner. One. Maybe she's no. the one. <laughs> queen beats one. Before we go, we have one last treat for you. Here is Ellie James with her song, The Lights. Enjoy. Enjoy.